India Today has reported that apart from the Ted BF carrier born fighter, 23 ton Omni Roll combat aircraft is also in the works, and that the Aeronautical Development Agency has set an ambitious timeline of first flight in 2026, and production will start in 2030. The AUKA was a proposed Air Force variant of the Ted BF design that was offered to the Indian Air Force. If the media report is correct, and the AUKA program is funded by the government, it can definitely bridge the gap between AMCA and Tejas Mark II. After the recent success of the dry cavalry engine achieving 48 kN thrust, the DRDO has started discussions with Hindustan Aeronautics and Aeronautical Development Agency, regarding the integration and testing of an afterburner variant of the engine on board an older Tejas aircraft. The DRDO aims to secure funds for the program to showcase a fully developed engine on board a Tejas aircraft, that will be used as a stepping stone to develop an enhanced cavalry engine for a potential re-engine program. The Times of India has reported, that the Indian Navy is preparing to conduct tests of long-range land attack cruise missile from a Kilo-class submarine. The LRLACM will be launched from a torpedo tube, and will have a range of 1,500 km, and will be armed on all diesel-electric submarines of the Indian Navy. The RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment has started a new project known as 300mm LRGR, under which it will develop a 300mm long-range guided rocket for the Indian Army. It will carry a 150 kg warhead, and is expected to have a range of around 300 km, and will also counter the Chinese A-300 type of rockets operated by the armies of both China and Pakistan. After successfully passing the factory acceptance tests, Spanish firm Enru has started integration of the first Lanzu N3D radar on a P-17A stealth frigate being constructed for the Indian Navy. India has selected the most advanced version of Lanzu N radar, which has already passed NATO's tactical ballistic missile detection and tracking tests. This is a tech transfer program materialized in a contract signed by Indra with Tato Advanced Systems Limited in 2020, under which the company will integrate 23 such radars on Indian Navy ships. After a grueling 97 days return passage through the Norwegian Sea English Channel and the Mediterranean Sea, Indian Navy's Kilo-class submarine INS Sindhuratna has returned to Mumbai, after undergoing major refit at Naval Dockyard in Russia. The submarine with its modernized weapon and sensor suite will enhance the force level in the western seaboard. French engine manufacturer Safran Group has opened a unit in Kerala, that will be turned into a space test center in the Asia-Pacific region in the near future. Safran has also expressed interest in starting an assembling and manufacturing unit for Safran space products at the unit, as it aims to produce 50% of the products required by the ISRO. Ahead of Prime Minister Modi's visit to Washington, Indian and U.S. officials held the 17th meeting of India-U.S. Defense Policy Group in Washington, during which both sides discussed new ways to boost defense industrial cooperation, sharing of critical technology and having joint long-term research, and also deliberated on operationalizing the major defense partnership and ways to improve supply chain security. Oh, my God.